Okay, so to finish off the edges of the quilt, um, I follow, I try and cut as much of the fabric and the hexagons as I can. Now, because all your hexagons are um, the perfect shape and size, you can use either that edge or that edge as your guide, whatever you feel comfortable with. And I'm going to cut as much, leave as much of the fabric on there as I can, um, because I don't want to cut into my stitches. Okay, so you can see I've ironed them all nice and flat so I can see exactly as, as exactly how much fabric is, is there and what I can cut. Um, so I am going to use, Um, the very this hexagon the edge as my guiding line and then I can see where I need to cut it so I need to be mindful that <clears throat> once I've cut it and quilted it uh, there might be a little bit of movement so I want to give myself a little bit of space um, so that if it shrinks a little bit I can go at the end and give it another little trim right so I'm just going to cut along that edge over there. So I'm just going to measure where that goes. And for me, that looks like it's right at the two inch mark on that line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my tape and I'm actually just going to mark that line. Handily just tore off. I'm just going to stick it right on the two inch line so I know exactly where I'm going with this. So this is a washi tape, so it's very temporary. I can just pull it off at the end, but it gives me a very quick uh, guide to see where I need to cut. Okay. Remember to always be safe with your laid. Okay. My two inch uh, marking is lined up with the edge of that hexagon and I'm just going to slice these edges off. Now I keep these because I'm going to put a small little hexagon in there and then, you know, use that in a further, in another quilt. Okay. And then I just slide this up and over the edge of the table. There we go. Now I don't need to line up with anything on my board. I'm literally just using it to, um, excuse me, for cutting. Okay, lining up my two inch on that line. There, there, there. And remember, check, check again, double check before you cut this is a quilt you don't want to make a mistake on and sometimes um, just because of the way the fabric uh, can be pulling or whatever um, you just need to make sure that your actual hexagons are lining up and I don't mind if you actually pull the fabric underneath to make it thicker So of course the same would be done for a one inch hexagon or a two inch hexagon. Okay, down the other side um, is a different story. Because of course this side are all pointy bits. Okay, so so once again my two inch marker that I've made with the washi tape is perfect to measure from you see where that point is I'm putting my two inch marker on that point on that point and on that point well junction 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 and that would give me a straight Again, just check, check, and check. And if you have to do it smaller bits, smaller bits, like just that bit. And 
be mindful that you're not catching your stitching because it's been hand stitched if you cut it I, I've, I'm afraid it might come undone a bit so be careful if you're a quilter and you don't have a roller blade yet just go and buy a good quality one go online and research I have several different makes uh, and they all seem to work well for me um, I, because I'm a hand stitcher I hardly ever use my rotary cutter um, so I'm definitely not an expert on it um, and they all seem to work really well for me so I have no preference Okay, and when you get to a corner, it's exactly the same actually, just use your marking. Okay, and that's how you go around all the edges.